Hi, it's Julia. This is another video about one of my favorite and easygoing plants, ZZ plant. In the last video, I was repotting root-bound plant. I talked about when to repot ZZ plants, how to choose a proper pot, and also demonstrated how to support its heavy, gorgeous fronds. Today, I will talk about what ZZ plants need in order to thrive and be happy, how to water these plants, how much water to use, and we'll share with you my best easy care tips. I have broken down this video for different topics, so if you do not want to watch the whole video, you can select the topic you are interested in and go straight to that part of the video. Timestamps are in the video description. Also, feel free to share with me and others in the comments below your best care tips for ZZ plants. There is always something new one can learn. If this is your first time here, I am the founder of My City Plants. I have been working with plants, caring for plants for many years, and here on this channel, I share with you my best care tips so you can grow happy and healthy plants so don't forget to subscribe to our channel keep the notification on so you do not miss any new videos ZZ plants are in my top 10 easy to grow plant list they can adapt to any light environment tolerate neglect they do not require frequent watering they can more than any other plants adjust to any environmental changes and aesthetically are very pleasing. Look at this gorgeous plant I have in our studio. It's naturally shiny leaves, gorgeous cascading stems, as I told you, pleasure to look at. So let's talk about how to create the perfect environment for this plant and how to care for them. I will start with light. This plants, ZZ plants can adapt to any light situation from low light to bright light. They can handle direct sunlight and even grow just under fluorescent light. Couple of important notes. If your plant is exposed to late afternoon sun, like west side exposure, or is bathing in the sun all day, like in a south exposure, move them away from the window. The window glass magnifies the strength of sun rays. If in a space where you wish to place your plant, you cannot read a book in the middle of the day without turning the light on, this area is way too dark for any plant to survive. You will need to add the light using an artificial light source. You can watch my video about how to grow plants in areas that are too dark or do not have any natural light to learn more. The link to that video is in the video description. Rotate your plant. This is important if you want your plant growing evenly. If your plant gets light from different directions, you may rotate it every time you water the plant. If the light source comes only from one side, you have to rotate it more frequently, especially if the plant is in a low light room or exposed to the direct sunlight. Regular rotation in these cases will prevent the plant growing uneven and leaf burn. Provide a good air circulation. Places with low air circulation are perfect for pests. Also, lack of airflow slows down soil drying process and this will lead to root rot. So keep the windows open or have the fan on at all times to keep that air moving. Keep the temperature steady, somewhere between 60 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Do not expose your plants to cold air and cold drafts. Do not open windows if the outdoor temperature is below 50. Feel like you need to get some fresh air during cold weather? Understandable. Move your plant away from the window, otherwise it's gonna get a cold bite and its leaves will turn black. ZZ plants are extremely hardy and do not require any extra humidity. Regular indoor humidity, 40-50% will do for these guys. Keep your plants clean. Dust them on weekly or bi-weekly. I use Swiffer for regular light cleaning and I just simply remove the dust. Perfect tool. Very gentle, there is no leaf harm, but it does the job. I would recommend once every three, four weeks to do a deeper cleaning for your plant. And you need to use a moist paper towel, one second, and simply wipe the dust off the leaves top and under. Regular cleaning 
will help the plants to absorb the light properly and will keep the pests away. While cleaning your plant, check your plant, check its leaves, top and under, stems and the soil for any issues like fungus, mold or pests. Regular checking will help you to catch an issue early, then it's easy to fix, you can fast apply the treatment and the plant will recover in no time. Remove any bad or damaged leaves like yellow leaves or brown leaves to keep your plant looking fresh and beautiful. Also keep an eye on the soil level, keep it up to provide a proper root coverage and keep it free of any debris to avoid any fungus or pest issue. Now let's talk about watering. ZZ plants are low watering frequency plants and they need to have their soil completely dry all the way through before getting watered. They store the water in their thick roots and stems and that is why they can go a very long time without being watered and perfect for a forgetful owner. As I say in every video, always, always guys, test the soil before watering your plant. Do not water your plant on a schedule. You can create a schedule and test the soil regularly and for ZZ plant, I would recommend testing the soil once every 7 to 10 days to see how fast the soil dries out in your space. It depends on the light, humidity, moisture and light. You can use your finger and stick it in as deep as, po as possible to see if the soil is really dry or I would strongly recommend using the soil moisture meter and I use this tool in every video and for all my plants. I simply, once every 7 to 10 days, will stick the soil meter in the soil as deep as possible around the plant in a few areas to see what is the moisture reading is. Let me actually turn around so I can see. Yeah. And when for ZZ plants, when the meter reading is at the lowest dry zone, which is number one, I will add another one week or two weeks before I water these plants. If the plant is in a sunny spot, I will add one more week. If it's in a low light spot, I will add two more weeks before giving a drink to this guy. I'm often asked, what do you do if one side of the soil is completely dry where the other side of the soil is still wet? Very simple, you just water a little bit the dry side and you wait for the other side to dry out. We need to use the right amount of water so it can reach the lower roots, but not too much so it can lead to root rotting. How much water to use is the most complicated subject and it depends on the size of the pot your plant is in. I will try to explain to you how to figure out more or less the amount of water for different size of plants. You would have to put your green professor head on and wisely eyeball the amount of water the pot needs. Roughly, it's the, half, the amount of water is the half size of the pot that your plant is in. For example, look at this pot, clay pot. So how much water do I need to fill it up with water, right? So how much water do I need to fill up half of the pot? It will be like this much water. So I have in my watering can, I have this much water right here. And the what I'll do, I will start watering the plant very slow. Pouring water slowly is very important to provide the time for the soil to absorb the water. Otherwise, especially when the soil is really dry, the water will just run straight to the bottom. So slowly, I'm just going to use half of the amount that I have here and I will go around the plant very, very slowly, close to its stems, not too close to the pot edge, and I'll use half of the amount. I'll wait for five to 10 minutes to see if the water runs out at the bottom, at the bottom in the saucer. If I don't see any water come out, I will use the rest of the water. Once I see the water coming out of the saucer, I will stop. After watering, make sure to get rid of any excess water in the saucer. We do not want to have any plants to sit in water. By the way, you can also use the soil meter to help you to understand how much water you need to water your plant. And the way it works, after you poured half of the amount of water, 
and you plant you wait for five seven minutes and then you stick the soil meter again as deep as possible to see if the moisture level reached the top of the wet zone right now this is on the top of the moist zone and i needed to get to the wet zone what i'll do i'll add a little more water and i'll wait again five seven ten minutes and i'll test the soil again if it's in a wet zone that's it the plan had enough and i can stop i am done so this is very helpful tool to have Another watering method is bottom watering. It works for the plants if they pot it in a pot that has a drainage hole. And the way you do it, you pour water in the saucer all the way to the top. You wait five to 10 minutes. If the plant absorbs the water, you add more water. After plant stops absorbing water, if you see that the water is still standing in the saucer after 10, 15 minutes, plant had enough you can simply remove the excess water your plant is well watered this plant we have in our studio is potted and we choose a self-watering plant there's just like all our plants here so if you want to learn how to water plants and we choose a self-watering planters you can watch a separate video about it and the link is in the video description to feed your ZZ plants, you can use all-purpose fertilizer and give it to your plants during active growth season, early March till late September. You can also watch my video about when and how to fertilize plants and you got it, the link is in the video description. ZZ plants do not get any pest issues often, but might get an unwanted visitors like mealybugs, spider mites, and if overwatered gnats. So please check your plants often to catch any pests at the early stage. I have made a few different videos about different pest issues where you can learn about how to recognize an issue and how to treat it. The link to that playlist is in the video description. I hope you have learned a few things about these beautiful, easygoing plants and find this video helpful. Please share with me and others any other tips that you might have in the comments below. Click like if you like the video, subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Have a green day and I'll see you soon.